Joining us now is Hossam Abdallah, an Egyptian doctor, a resident in the UK, but very politically active himself over the years, and particularly during the 1970s. But before that, we're going to talk to your son, Khalid, an actor who starred in The Kite Runner and Green Zone. He's amongst the protesters right down there in the square. Khalid, can you hear me? Uh, yes, just about. Oh, terrific. Khalid, your dad is here. And uh, can you just tell him and me and everybody else what you know, what you're experiencing there? Um, well, it's pretty extraordinary here. I mean, the mood is definitely celebrated uh, all day. I mean, I think, I mean, all day the, the country has been avalanching towards, um, avalanching towards what we can see now, and I'm sure you can, you can probably see on your screens or have seen already. Um, I mean, everyone's waiting. Apparently, he's going to kick his speech in about an hour. Um, that's a funny story, that apparently he, he, he actually recorded the speech, and then uh, the army didn't like it, so it's been asked to re record it. I don't know if that's true. Um, but anyway, I mean, the, news here is, the news here is absolutely extraordinary. Um, and I think the, 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 the really interesting thing here, for me, is the fact that well, that is leaving. It's not enough for right. Khalid, let me, let me pause you there, because I want to talk to your father. This is an extraordinary moment. Do you think it is the moment? Well, I'm not sure. It is definitely the moment that he's going. Whether he's going with leaving some of the responsibility still in his hand, whether it is a question of uh, the army have a final say, but uh, they are not negotiating. I think the important thing is the statement that is going to come from the army after his statement. Are they going to meet the aspiration of the people? The people's aspirations is not only to get rid of Mubarak, mm. but to establish a true democratic society mm. in Egypt. Right. So, well, I, I don't want to interrupt you in full flow, but I just want to catch this moment. Here are you, a doctor in London, an Egyptian, your son in the square. How do you feel? Great, proud. I can't tell you. This is one of the best moments in Egyptian history, if ever. You know, we, here we are, people forcing their will and it's one of the great revolutions of mankind. And I know that we'll be victorious. Khaled, you have been there nearly the whole of the 17 days. I mean, it is a great... Many of the people in the square have suffered. Um, how is it now? Do you still... Do you feel elation or exhaustion or both? So, did you say... Do you think that again? Uh, you've been there for 17 days. Uh, and, and many tens of thousands like you. Do you feel elation or exhaustion or both? Um, I, I'm afraid I, I don't hear you properly, but I, but I, I think I heard the word jubilation. And, uh, and, and I think, I mean, what I can say is, put it this way, um, I can't hear you very well. And the reason I can't hear you very well, I think, is because the number, because... The, 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 the telephone, you know, the mobile system is not supposed to, uh, is at full capacity. It's not supposed to have this many people in one place at one time. It's, uh, that, that is a sign, I think, of things to come. That's a sign of the force of this movement. Uh, and, and I heard my father talk, of, you, know, the, 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 you know, the questions about the army and, and whether they're not set in or, you know, I think what's... As, as I said, what's, what's very clear here is that the will of the people is what's in power. And that's the way it always should have been. And I think that's the way it should be. I think Carla, that, the army that, that's a very, that good, a very good moment to pause, but thank you very, very much for joining us. Um, I suppose in 1970 you'd have been in the square if there had been a revolution at the time, because indeed this struggle has gone on uh, for, for, for decades. Well, we have been in that square in the 1970s. But, of course, it was the student movement. It wasn't a, nation, a national movement. We were, you know, demonstrating against Sadat at the time. And I personally was accused of establishing committees for defence of democracy. Are you surprised that your son has taken the same course? Uh, I'm not. I'm very proud. And I remember him in an interview, he said, I come from three generations of people who fought for this moment. And, yes, we have been there. We wanted this moment. And we are living the moment. And look at the people, that look at their great power. You know, it's a sea of people throughout the country. It is workers, it is students, it is civil servants, it's everything. It's a moment in history that will live in the minds and hearts of everybody. But and by the way, mm -hmm. I do not believe that there will ever be an attempt by the army 
to overtake the people. In other words, become a coup, go home, and we will sort it out. The power of the people will make it such that the democratic change will happen. And nobody in the world, and I put that, American, British, European, should fear that. Democracy is the will of the people. There will be a secular society in Egypt, I'm sure, because this is the type of the nation and will be even continuation of the peace. Tahrir Square has become a fixture on our television screens for 17 days. We're apt to become kind of almost inured to the importance of it. Did you ever expect to live to see this day? No. No, I didn't. I've always wished for it. We all worked for it, years and years and years, in exile in Egypt. One came to the point that one didn't believe it will happen, but here you see it. Dr. Hassam Abdallah, thank you very much indeed for joining us. And the Foreign Office Minister Alastair Burt has called on Egypt to say whether it has arrested a British man, Hisham Morsi, missing since January the 31st. Mr. Morsi, who has dual Egyptian and British nationality, was last seen in Tahrir Square, according to the Foreign Office, and was detained by persons unknown. Inquiries from the British Embassy about his whereabouts with the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and State Security have gone unanswered. And if you go to the special report section of our website at channel4.com forward slash news, you can catch up with all the reports and analysis on the Egypt uprising from our team of foreign correspondents, including Lindsay Hilsom and Jonathan Rugman. And Lindsay's on her way to Tahrir Square, as I said. Uh, we hope to be back with her in Cairo later in the programme.